Hi everybody, I'm Gorbash, welcome to Mass Effect 3. Uh, I'm sure you've heard about Mass Effect uh, Andromeda coming out next year, and I thought it's actually a pretty good idea to play um, at least one of the games uh, before we're gonna play um, Andromeda. Andromeda looks extremely promising, so I thought uh, why not make a gameplay for um, one of the previous um, versions so in general I was thinking about um, part one or two but because uh, this is really rich story rich um, game these are really story rich games and uh, I thought I won't be able to manage the uh, record all the gameplays so just to get in the mood we're gonna play Mass Effect 3 while waiting hope you're uh, gonna enjoy the series and uh, we'll st you stay around uh, with me for a while please subscribe if you wanna see more uh, more episodes of this. Uh, uh, so, without uh, making it any longer, let's start new game. Uh, okay, new game. We have an option to select male or female. I'm going to uh, uh, select male as it. Uh, this is the first choice actually. I'm quite surprised. Uh, in part one or two, uh, there was only male option. Okay, uh, then we need to choose our experience. Select the type of experience you would like to have. Uh, you can change the settings at any time in the options menu. All right, action, role playing, story. Uh, I like the story, so let's let's select story. Customize your character. Uh, experience and control interactive story without difficult combat. Select uh, John Shepard. Let's let's uh, stick. Let's. Let's leave John. John is fine. I, I was thinking about James actually. I prefer James for some reason, but there's another James in the story, and it, it might be confusing at some point for some of you. So let's let's uh, say with John. Uh, identification scan. A genetic scan in progress, attempting to match personal records. Okay, custom appearance. I don't know whether I will be able actually to. Uh, yeah, default. This is the how the uh, uh, Commander Shepard looked like in the first series. Uh, a little bit more Polish, polished, I guess. Uh, all right, let's, let's customize that. Any presets? Uh, I'm not sure that I like presets, but... Uh, I think the second, this guy looks alright. Facial structure. Okay, skin tone. Complexion. This one is alright. Neck fitness, alright. <laughs> uh, face size. Cheek, cheekbones. All right, ear size. Don't you think it, it, this ear is a little bit lower? <laughs> right ear is lower than the uh, left one. <laughs> uh, ear orientation. All right, eyes, eye shape. Well, these are weird. Okay. Uh, I think I, I'm gonna stay with this one. Height. Can't see much difference here, or oh, a little bit difference. Okay. Wow. Blue. Green. I mean, extreme green. Let's make it green. Mm. 
Okay. So uh, we have it ready. Let's let's do something with his hair. Beard, I like beard. Idea of the beard. Okay, uh, um, right, I'm not trying to make it any longer, but I just, you know, I want to. Can I set my... Yeah, this, this looks right. It's hair color. Yes, that looks better. Uh, maybe ice. Iris color. Yeah, that looks awesome actually. This one is alright. Alright, accept. And now, personal records. Scanning for physical enhancements. Please confirm your military class. Soldier, infiltrator, vanguard, sentinel, adept engineer. Soldier, so a pure combat specialist. No one is tougher or more suited to take down enemies with barrages of gunfire. Uh, soldiers have through. Um, through weapons training and can use all special ammo types as well as grenades. High level operatives are outfitted with ocular synaptic processors that allow them to focus on target with lethal accuracy. Infiltrators are tech and combat specialists with the unique ability to cloak themselves from visual and technological detection. Their inventory is stacked with wide variety, uh, variety of weapons, equipment and powers. Infiltrators are deadly at any range, but particularly uh, so with a sniper rifle. Yeah, I'm going to select with the, uh, select Infiltrator. And as you know, the Commander Shepard was Evborn. Uh, well, according to previous episodes, you were born and raised on colonies uh, Mindoir, Mindois, oh, not sure whether it's from French or something, uh, Airborne. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna go for this one. Soul Survivor. And please indicate which best describes your experience with significant combat loss. Numerous Kaidan Alenko. Uh, Lieutenant Kaidan Alenko was killed in action, the direct um, result of an order issued by Commander Shepard. The only other survivor of the incident was Gunner Chief Ashley Williams. Uh, Kaidan Alenko, alright. So we have full profile now. Uh, John Shepard, Airborne, Soul Survivor, Infiltrator, uh, Kaidan Alenko. Uh, Die during the combat. Okay, accept. Shepard's current health bar. All right. Electronic Arts presents. I'm pretty excited to be honest. A Bioware production. Huh. 
How bad is it? Bad. We just lost contact with two of our deep space outposts. There's something massive on long-range scanners. Is this what Shepard warned us about? I'd stake my life on it. How long do we have? Not long. I sent word. The fleets are mobilizing. This voice sounds like us all. And from Transformers, Optimus Prime. In 2157, humanity discovered it was not alone. The universe, 30 years later, they found a peaceful place among those of galactic species. But this idyllic feature is overshadowed by a dark past Reapers, a sentient, sentient race of machines responsible for cleansing the galaxy of all organic life every 50 years, 50,000 years, about to return. Okay. Yeah, I thought so. There's something wrong with this uh, uh, ship movement. Commander, you're not supposed to call me that anymore, James. Not supposed to salute you either. We gotta go. The defense committee wants to see you. Sounds important. All right, let's go then. Let's see what's going on. Actually, what's going on? couldn't say. Just told me they needed you now. Anderson, Admiral, you look good, Shepard. Maybe a little soft around the edges. How are you holding up since being relieved from duty? It's not so bad once you get used to the hot food and soft beds. We'll get it sorted out. What's going on? Why is everyone in such a hurry? Admiral Hackett's mobilizing the fleets. I'm guessing words made it to Alliance Command. Something big's headed our way. The Reapers? We don't know. Not for certain. What else could it be? If I knew that. Okay. We have some choices here. Uh, I can see the choices are similar. Uh, uh, interfaces uh, similar to the previous version. We should, uh, we should have prepared more. I'm certain. I'm certain. It's the Reapers. And we're not ready for them. Not by a long shot. Tell that to the defense committee. Unless we're planning to talk the Reapers to death, the committee is a waste of time. They're just scared. None of them have seen what you've seen. We've all reviewed your report, seen the data you've collected. But it's all just theory to us. You've been there, in the trenches, fighting them. You know what they're capable of. That why they grounded me? Took away my ship? You know that's not true. The shit you've done? Any other soldier would have been tried, court-martialed, and discharged. It's your knowledge of the Reapers that kept that from happening. That, and your good word? Yeah, I trust you, Shepard. And so does the committee. I'm just a soldier, Anderson. I'm no politician. I don't need you to be either. I just need you to do whatever the hell it takes to help us stop the Reapers. They're expecting you to, Admiral. All right. Good luck in there, Shepard. Anderson? Ashley. Shepard. Ashley? Lieutenant Commander? How'd it go in there? I can never tell with them. I'm just waiting for orders now. Admiral. Come on. You know the commander? I used to. Okay. So let's find out what's going on. Admiral Anderson. Shepard. What's the situation? We were hoping you would tell us. The reports coming in are unlike anything we've seen. Whole colonies have gone dark. We've lost contact with everything beyond the Sol Relay. Whatever this is, it's incomprehensibly powerful. You brought me here to confirm what you already know. The Reapers are here. Yeah. 
then? How do we stop them? Stop them? This isn't about strategy or tactics. This is about survival. The Reapers are more advanced than we are. More powerful, more intelligent. They don't fear us. And they'll never take pity on us. But... There must be some way. Yes. Um... Uh... Survival Each of us cost. has to be willing to die to save humanity. Anything less, and they've already won. That's it? That's our plan? Admiral, we've lost contact with Luna Base. The moon? They couldn't be that close already. How'd they get past our defenses? Sir, UK headquarters has a visual. We heard from Admiral Hackett. What do we do? The only thing we can. We fight or we die. We should get to the Normandy. Commander Williams, is that you? What's your status? I can't raise the Normandy. You'll have to contact me. We'll meet you at the landing zone. Anderson up. Let's adjust, uh, let me adjust just a moment, let me adjust sounds, this it seems to be, I'm not sure how you uh, hear me. Alright, let's put it to, down to uh, 50%, okay back. Yeah, really understand, you're running funny. Take a running jump. It's farther than it looks. Okay. Come on, let's go. Come on. We'll have to go this way. Looks clear. Let's go. Come on, let's keep moving. Lieutenant Commander, you read me. I'm patching in Shepard. Take him out! Shoot him! You haven't forgot how to shoot, have you? I'm out of ammo! Come on, we gotta move! Okay, we're we moving then. Come on, dude. Where are you? Have 
take these things out the old-fashioned way. Nice. Don't let him grab you. Okay, so the situation is getting dense. Find a way, find ammo. Gotta find a way out of here. I need some ammo to do it first. Nice, nice, nice was nice. Through this way. All right, then. What's going on? There's some kid over there. Hey, what do you think, that little buddy? It's okay. Everyone's dying. Oh, let me help you. Come here. I need to get you someplace safe. Take my hand. You can't help me. Shepard! I mean, I can here. help you. Okay, she's gone. Awesome. Just awesome. Ah, this is a goddamn mess. Every minute these machines are here, thousands of innocent people die. I won't be responsible. It's war, people die. You're not responsible for the ones that die. We fight for the ones left standing when it's all over. Yeah. Maybe you're right. I get so fast. I thought we'd have more time. We knew they were coming. And they still just cut through our defenses. We need to go to the Citadel. Talk to the Council. The Citadel? The fight's here. It'll be everywhere soon enough. You said it yourself. <sighs> the Reapers will destroy everything if we don't stop them. The Council has to help us. You sure about that? No, but you were a Council Spectre. That has to count for something. Gotcha! <sighs> Thanks. I owe you one. More than one. Grab some ammo. Alright, now. Reload, let's keep moving. Where are you going? Lieutenant Commander, we're in Funny. We made it to the Normandy, taking heavy fire. Oh god. They're gonna take down the dreadnought. Evasive maneuvers. Lieutenant Commander, Ashley! Another blast. Yeah. Alright. At least we're alive. Normandy, we're going to reroute. Do you copy? Normandy, come in. Friendlies. You two all right? Get down, they'll see you. You nasty looking. Keep your head down. Nice shot. Finish them all. Chapman, over here. I just. Okay. 
What's going on? What happened here? Our gunship was shot down. We barely made it. You have a radio? We're trying to contact our ship. No. There's one in the gunship, but it's gonna be crawling with those things. Stay here, son. We'll get you out of here. <laughs> Come on, let's get to that gunship. Okay, which way? Jump here. What are you doing? Come on, what's going on? Alright, alright guys, I think it's time to finish up anyway. Um, the first episode, that's enough, it's been long enough. I uh, hope you enjoyed this, uh, the first episode. If you if did, please leave a like and uh, comment. Let me, know, let me know what are you actually waiting for Andromeda. Well, um, uh, have you seen uh, uh, trailers at all? And uh, yeah, thank you for watching and please subscribe um, if you want to watch more. Uh, I would appreciate it. Thanks again, you have a good time. Bye.